hello my lovely elegant ladies thank you so much for coming to my channel once again woman of elegance it's always a pleasure my name is vivian and i am so happy to be able to speak to you about elegance poise professionalism and how you can really become a polished woman of elegance thank you so much for returning to my channel ladies have you ever wondered what exactly elegance is why is elegance important why should we strive to maintain elegance why should we strive to attain elegance ladies these are all valid questions um, and i'm hoping that this channel will really not only answer all your questions in relation to elegance but really drive you to want to become a better feminine elegant woman today ladies we are going to be speaking about 10 things that elegant women never do now this is quite an interesting topic so ladies get your beverages get your popcorn and let's go through these one by one number one eating on the go now ladies we live in such a fast-paced society now and there is just so many reasons why people will eat on the go you know getting to work on time you need to get to that meeting quickly there's just so many reasons why but remember being elegant is not the norm it's not something that women of today readily strive to do so aside from being unhealthy it doesn't allow you to digest your food properly imagine the scenario walking down the street a bag of nando's or whatever it is in one hand chicken wing in the other hand and running and eating on the go and then meeting someone on your way it's just it's so tacky it's something that you should not do aside from probably getting food all over your clothing as well you might have to greet someone unaware smile at them you would have food in your teeth so ladies please try and avoid this um, an alternative is to perhaps find you know a suitable place to have your lunch maybe it could even be a park bench or you know a seated area in a restaurant or if it's just not convenient for you take your food into the office and if you're feeling super peckish perhaps you could have you know a bag of nuts or something discreet that you can nibble on your way to having your meal but it's really not an elegant thing to be seen eating on the go so ladies please refrain from doing that two blowing your nose at the dinner table now ladies i have addressed a few things um in relation to dining and elegance in a previous video but i didn't go into much depth and i'll be addressing everything in relation to dining etiquette on a separate video however it's something to bear in mind if you have a runny nose you must get up and address the situation in the ladies room do not under any circumstances blow your nose or cough up phlegm i mean i've seen it done on a few occasions and it really just puts you off your meal it dampens the environment if you really want to be seen as elegant and polished it's so important to be able to pay attention to details so please just excuse yourself blow your nose and if you find that you know you've got a running nose and you've got a terrible cold perhaps it'll be better not to turn up to dinner but if it's something that has caught you unawares please address it away from everybody else and that's the hygienic and thoughtful thing to do trolling on social media now most people have a presence on social media a lot of people are more into it than others a lot of people run businesses primarily with the use of social media a lot of our lives are centered on social media however ladies the use of social media could actually make you or break you how many times have we heard of situations where a celebrity or a public figure have had unsavory tweets reappear later on in their careers and it destroys them it's so important to be refined and polished with your use of social media it's really important to be mindful of what you say of the energy that you project on social media because not only is this not a ladylike thing to do but it's likely to come and bite you 
in the future please don't underestimate the power of social media if you are going to be using it use it wisely and use it to really portray the image that you want everyone to to view and that you want to reflect you need to be more ladylike you need to be more sophisticated and everything that you post should reverberate that so it's really important to keep that in mind also so we are going to go on to the fourth point which i think is really important to address which is giving a waiter or a waitress a hard time at the restaurant i've seen this happen a few times and it's actually quite embarrassing um and i really feel bad for the waiters or the waitresses that have to endure that not only are they having a hard time having to serve everybody get every, the right orders to everybody but then they're going to have to deal with difficult patrons at a restaurant i don't mean in particular diners being arrogant or rude that's just something that elegant women don't do but being extra nitpicky being too particular if you're given wine at a restaurant and you want your white wine cold let's say for example and they bring it back at a certain temperature please don't ask two or three times to go and put it in the ice bucket and bring it to you test it you're not particularly happy with it you ask them to do it again don't make it a point to be too particular and annoying of course as a paying customer you have the right to be served the food that you want but if it's really not something that you can consume please be polite about it and please be moderate as well it's just there's nothing elegant about being too demanding it just doesn't look good so and it's obviously not thoughtful either so please avoid that number five don't dominate a conversation now ladies i'm not advocating for the women should be seen and not heard scenario because that is not what this channel is about and i completely disagree with that but have you ever been in a situation where there's a particular person who just does not stop talking you know she has all the answers she has all the scenarios she has all the great stories to tell she's an amazing orator but she just doesn't give anyone else space to talk ladies we don't want to be that kind of person because we would garner a reputation for ourselves for dominating a conversation and you'll get to find out soon enough that invitations will flow in far and few between as time goes on because we will be known for that person who just doesn't keep quiet just doesn't isn't thoughtful enough to allow others to speak or others to say whatever they have to say some people are not huge talkers i'm one of those kind of people so if i find that someone is just completely dominating a conversation i just tend to switch off and a lot of other people do so as well and be discerning look at other people's facial expressions you know if you are ranting and ranting people just kind of lose eye contact and they just don't they don't even provide an answer after you've spoken so just be aware of that be discerning and be moderate when you're speaking don't dominate a conversation there's nothing elegant about that number six now this might be a somewhat controversial point but i think it's really important to say anyway do not go on a date empty-handed now if somebody has invited you on a date a dinner date it doesn't even have to be a romantic type of situation but if someone invites you please be dignified enough to at least be able to cover for yourself in any circumstance now i'm not going to cover this too much in this video because i will be doing a separate video all on dining etiquette but if somebody invites you out i'm of the stance that the person who has invited you out should foot the bill because they've done under the assumption that they will be able to pay um i think it's a bit bizarre if somebody invites you out somewhere and they don't have the means to foot the bill even in business lunch situations if you're entertaining a client you wouldn't expect the client to pay you've invited them out you've asked them to give their time therefore you should be able to foot the bill but i think it's really important that a woman should be able to have funds to cover herself should a situation arise where the inviter is not able to pay um 
it becomes very awkward if for whatever reason he's not able to pay and you're sitting there discussing the bill the waiter standing there waiting um it just becomes an awkward situation but a professional dignified elegant woman would want to avoid those kind of situations at all costs and definitely not bring any commotion within her realm so it's really important for her to be able to cover herself should that kind of situation arise and if you feel like it's been done purposely then ladies you know what kind of person you're dealing with but sometimes inevitably some situations can arise where you probably would have to foot the bill and it's really important to be able to do that because you just don't want to be sitting there he's feeling awkward you're feeling awkward and it's just not a really pleasant situation to be in so just be wary just have your own just in case number seven blowing on your food to cool it down <sighs> ladies don't do this don't do this there's nothing elegant about it if your food is hot fill the bowl fill the plate and you'll be able to tell that it's too hot for you to consume and you wait a few moments for it to cool down because you don't want to have a bowl of soup in front of you and blowing it it you know you're blowing germs you're blowing air around avoid doing that at all costs you cannot imagine being at the most elegant dinner tables in the in the country and you know your food comes and you're blowing it and you're slurping at the spoon you know at the soup to cool it down don't do that wait a few moments it's even elegant to wait just before diving into food anyway but just wait a few moments allow the food to cool and then enjoy it afterwards definitely no blowing please eight wearing fake designer items now ladies we live in a very trend setting era we live in a very kind of moment to moment era where trends come and go but one thing you have to understand about elegance is elegance is timeless elegance is something that will never go out of fashion we don't want to stress ourselves to have the latest designer items just to keep up with the joneses just to keep up with a passing fad or a trend it's really important to refrain from wearing fake designer items and there are two specific reasons for this number one to the trained eye it is very very easy to spot designer items that are fake and that are real and I think it's better that elegant women should really invest their time and their finances into buying items that will last you a long time rather than buying you designer items that will fall apart quite frankly um, if somebody who is knowledgeable in that area sees you wearing fake designer items you won't be taken seriously if you cannot afford designer items there is nothing wrong with that invest your money in buying beautiful timeless pieces i've never seen an instance where kate middleton or other members of the royal family wear designer items that are in vogue for the moment i've seen kate middleton for example wearing high street brands such as lk bennett's hobbs self portrait these are beautiful brands that utilize exceptional fabrics to make beautiful garments so rather than spend money buying designer items that would not generate you any money if you wanted to sell them it's better to you know spend your money buying beautiful high street items and you'll look beautifully elegant and you'll look very polished so that's the first reason the second reason is that buying fake designer items really finances certain trade practices that we completely want to avoid as ethical people um, a lot of the time these designer items are made by people having to endure incredibly harsh situations and that's not something we want to be part of in any shape or form so even though it's not something that probably would come to mind it's not a reason that you probably think about please keep that in mind and like i said as elegant women it's not our priority to be seen wearing the latest designer clothing we are interested in timelessness and that is what you should strive to attain my elegant women number nine elegant women do not flaunt their cash elegant women are understated elegant women are modest imagine roaring down the quiet streets of Berkshire or some other suburb in the latest car you know people will frown at you let people guess allow people to guess don't be so out there 
be understated and that is what you call true class now the final point i would like to address is point number 10 which is that elegant women are not overly concerned about what everyone else is doing now it's really difficult to not compare yourself especially on social media people portray their best but that's not reality it's really important that as elegant women we spend time working on ourselves enriching our minds and improving ourselves in all facets of our lives we don't get so caught up in what everyone else is doing and start using our precious time to speak about other people that are probably not even thinking about us it's really important that we use our time wisely and we don't get caught up in the moment and what's gone viral because we always want to be seen as professional and using our time to benefit ourselves or others not wasting time so my elegant ladies i hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you will take some of these points on board remember elegance is rare nowadays so it's not something that will make you popular but it's definitely something that will make you desirable and it will definitely stand you out from the crowd if you've enjoyed this video please do like comments share with other fellow women and subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading content regularly so please stay tuned and i'll see you next time so until then bye for now